When you think of a laser power meter, you usually imagine a sensor connected by a cable to a device, a handheld meter or perhaps a direct-to-PC interface. But that's not always how it is. Sometimes a cable is not an option. In an additive manufacturing chamber, for example, you want the sensor to sit inside the chamber to check the laser power, while the user operates the measurement from outside the closed chamber door. Ophir's Star Viewer Android app enables you to work wirelessly with a sensor connected via Bluetooth to your Android device. In this video, we'll see how to use Star Viewer with the Ariel, Ophir's new ultra-compact, self-contained industrial power meter. For all its power and capabilities, Star Viewer is so simple to use that you'll learn it in less than four minutes. Let's go. You can download Star Viewer from the Google Play Store or from the Ophir website. The Ariel should be set to Bluetooth enabled. It's enabled by default. Once Star Viewer is installed, make sure you've paired your Android device with your Ariel. Run the Star Viewer app, press the Bluetooth icon, and select your Ariel. If requested, allow Bluetooth pairing. OK, you're now connected. Note that now the Ariel's display screen shows keys locked. Control has been handed over to the Star View app. You can switch between various display types by the tap of a finger. Time-based line graph with a small numeric display on top. Note how we can pinch or stretch the graph. Large numeric readout including statistics. Virtual analog needle. Notice we're also shown status indicators of the Ariel's battery level and temperature. Another finger tap lets you control the sensor's settings, such as range, wavelength, and others that might be specific to particular sensor types. Here's the menu for the Ariel. We can choose whether we're measuring CW power, single shot pulse energy, or pulsed power, meaning power from short exposure. We'll start with CW power. Laser lets us choose the wavelength setting. The meanings of the five options, window, visible with diffuser, near IR with diffuser, and mid and far IR, are explained in the Ariel How to Use video on our website. Here we set the range or scale. We can also zero the Ariel from within Star Viewer. Use the zeroing option to maximize the measurement accuracy in CW mode. The zeroing process should be performed while the sensor is protected from light and when the sensor is cool. The protective cover can be left on for this purpose. Zeroing is recommended once a day or before each CW measurement session. It's not required for short exposure mode measurements. Pass-fail lets you set upper and lower limits and get a warning if the power goes above or below those limits. Info displays basic information about the app and about the Ariel unit. If instead of CW power, we want to measure single shot pulse energy, we select energy in the menu. The only difference now is that the readout is in units of energy, joules, and we see the ready indicator when the Ariel is ready for us to fire a pulse. Pulsed power is probably the more common usage mode for the Ariel. It enables measuring high powers up to eight kilowatts from a short exposure as short as 50 milliseconds and up to several seconds. Note that the range is now shown in units of energy, since that is what Ariel will be physically measuring in pulsed power mode. The power readout is of course in units of power, watts or kilowatts. In the display window, we see the ready indicator, which tells us that the Ariel is ready for a laser exposure. When the laser has fired, we get the readout within three seconds of the end of the exposure. Besides the power reading itself, note that we're also shown the measured energy itself, as well as the measured exposure time or pulse width, so that as complete a picture as possible is offered to the user. You can even take a snapshot of the screen and email it back to the office or the lab in real time. Refresh refreshes the graphic display. For more information, contact Ophir directly via our local representatives or visit our website. Mm -hmm.